So you're That's talking true. about uh, going back, reviewing the rice tarification law, reviewing all of the billions of pesos uh, uh, released to the Philippine Coconut Authority and all of its agencies. Ano yung last mo? 16. Ano, uh, yeah. Yung ating uh, <laughs> review talaga yun sa organisasyon mismo ng DA. Tingnan muna okay. niya yung mga roadmaps na ginawa. I-review i- i- yan and i-update yan para without uh, pl- failure to plan is to plan for failure. Alam natin yun. Uh, kailangan natin sundan ng isang plano para alam natin kung sa tayo tutungo uh, mga roadmaps. Uh, si- okay. I'm going to use that in our quotations in the future. Kasendong, uh, ikaw naman, uh, if uh, the secretary were to ask you eh, what should his legislative agenda or what should his first top three uh, movements be? Yeah, gasto sin yung pera na nasa DA. No? <laughs> Imagine na uh, si to may 12.7 billion tayo na uh, yung sa tariff collection ng rice. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, up to now, yung 5,000 per hectare, hindi pa bibigay sa mga magsataka. Nasa DA na yung mga pondo. No? Uh, yung, yung fertilizer subsidy, uh, yung mga dealer, yung mga uh, sumali dun sa programa, dalawang buwan na hindi pa binabayaran. Pero yung pondo nasa Department of Agriculture. So, ibig sabihin, yung pondo nasa, loob, nasa loob ng uh, department na yun. Pero hindi nila uh, ginagastos. Bibibigay sa tamang paraan. Ang kapag-usapan naman yung rice tarification law, uh, billions given to different agencies of the DA that should be accounted for, programs that uh, have not been reviewed or are deemed failure but continue to exist. Pero wala po sa inyong pumupuna or no, no one has pointed out that devolution yeah. Uh, yes. of local government devolved many of the services of the Department of Agriculture but none of those services are being delivered or performed by local government uh, units. Yeah, I agree whole, wholeheartedly with you there, Sito. Actually, when you were uh, talking earlier with Danny and uh, Sendo, nilista ko na yung mga issues na gusto ko nang erase. Ha. Isa talaga itong devolution. Because mm-hmm. since that law took effect, and the local government code took effect in 1991, we have seen really a deterioration in the provision of extension and technical advice to our farmers uh, under this the current setup. Nung nawala po yung technician sa ilalim po ng Department of Agriculture at napunta sa bawat mga alkalde o gobernador, eh, karamihan po sa San Jose, karamihan po ng ating LG executives, hindi po agriculture ang prioridad. Mm-hmm. At kung saan po na-assign mga technicians, yung iba dyan, security guards sa palengke, uh, and so on, Ang daming mga horror stories na ganyan. And yet, the, uh, really the, the source of, uh, I think, wealth and development in many areas in the Philippines really depend on agriculture and fisheries. Kaya lang, hindi po nabibigyan ng kwan po. Sa pat- so I, I really would uh, suggest a thorough review of this uh, devolution insofar as the technicians are concerned.